Hello, today I'm going to show you how I made this crochet treat bag. And at the end of the video, I'll also show you how I folded up this washcloth to look like a little bunny. You can find all the information you need for the pattern um, in the video description. And if you visit my blog post with all the details, you'll also be able to find a free printable for this little tag that I'm using here. All right, let's get into the pattern now. Okay, we're gonna make a foundation chain with 23 chains on it. And starting in the second chain from the hook, we're gonna single crochet until we get to the end. When you get to the end, I'm here doing my last two single crochets. You're going to start the um, next set of stitches on the unworked edge. So you're going to go onto that back side and you're going to do your single crochet stitches into each one of those chains until you get back to the beginning. Okay, so here I am. I'm just about at the end of that round and back to the beginning. And you're going to work continuously here. So we're not going to do a slip stitch to join, but we are going to want to use a stitch marker. So I do my first single crochet. This is starting round two, and I'm going to add my stitch marker so that I know where my row starts. And we're going to do a single crochet into each of the stitches around for the next um, four rows. Okay, so now I'm at the end of um, round four, and, and this round you are going to join the round with a slip stitch. So I'm gonna remove my stitch marker, and I'm going to um, use a slip stitch to join the round. And then I'm gonna start row five with a chain one and a single crochet into the same um, stitch, and then two chains, and then I'm gonna skip one stitch, do a single crochet into the next one, and then chain two. And I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that around until I get back to the beginning. Oh, and don't forget to place your stitch marker at the beginning so that you know where each round starts. So here we are, we're now back at the beginning. And for round um, six and to the remainder of the mesh part of the pattern, we're gonna be single crocheting into that chain two space. And we're gonna be repeating the same thing, one single crochet and then two chains. And we're gonna just repeat that until our work measures our desired length. For this pattern, since you're not counting rows for the um, body of it, you, instead you have to check your measurement. I've got a piece of washi tape on a mat here um, marked at 4.25 inches and this is how I check for my length. But you can also use a ruler or a um, measuring tape to do that too. Once you're back at the beginning you're going to join in the round with a slip stitch. I didn't actually get that on camera. And then we're going to start our um, top handle here. And you're going to start with a chain one and you do want to take your stitch marker. I didn't move my stitch marker up as I was going when I was doing the mesh part, but um, you are going to want to mark your first stitch. We're going to single crochet into that very first single crochet stitch there. And then I'm placing my stitch marker back because again, we're working continuously in the round. And we're going to single crochet into the chain two space and then single crochet into each of the single crochets from the row below and each of the chain two spaces. And we're going to repeat that until we get back to the beginning. If you're following along with my thin counts, you should end up with 44 single crochet stitches when you get back to the beginning. For the top handle, we're also working continuously in the round, so we're not going to be joining with a slip stitch. And to start round two, we're going to do a single crochet into each stitch around, and we're going to repeat that um, for two rounds. So single crochet into each stitch uh, for rounds two and three. This is the start of round four, 
and for this round you're going to do a single crochet into the next six stitches this is um, stitch one here and i'm going to mark it because we are still working continuously um, in the round and then i'm going to do five more single crochets this is the last um, single crochet and i'm going to chain 12. After I chain 12, I'm going to skip the next 10 stitches and then I'm going to do 12 single crochets. After that last single crochet, we're going to go ahead and chain 12 again here. And then we're going to skip 10 stitches and then we're going to do six single crochets which will bring us back to the beginning of the round so here we are back um, at the beginning this is the start of round five and we're going to continue in the round and rounds five six and seven are single crochet stitches into each stitch when i do get to the chain stitches i actually instead of inserting here i'm going to flip them up and insert into the bottom uh, part of that chain stitch you're going to do one single crochet into each stitch all the way until you get back to the beginning and we're going to do that for the next three rounds I've just finished round seven. I'm going to remove my stitch marker. At the end of this round, we're not going to join with a slip stitch. We're going to do a seamless join. So we're going to trim our yarn and pull the yarn tail through. And then we're going to use our darning needle to wrap this yarn around to mimic the, the top of the last stitch. And I'll show you here. I like to insert in from the bottom and then go around and back down through the back side of the work. And then I'm gonna weave my yarn tail in the rest of the way. And there you have it, my finished treat bag. I'm gonna add a little vegan suede tag. I do sell these in my Etsy shop and there is a link in the description and I'm going to fill it with just little treats. For these ones I've made some little bunny washcloths and I'm going to add a little bit of filling and a couple of candies to this bag and this one I'm going to be gifting to my niece. Remember to visit the video description to find links to everything including this printable tag and the pattern. I also have a quick video from the person where I found this idea on how to wrap up this little washcloth. Um, but I'm gonna show you just quickly how I do it. I do have a link to her video also in this video description as well as on my blog post. But these little washcloths are pretty fun to make. This pattern will be coming soon to my blog on the pattern that I use to actually make the washcloth and hopefully I'll have that up at the end of this week make a couple of these little washcloths they're so fun to make and this printable tag it's a free download and it's also available on the blog post i did want to show the paper that i use i buy my paper at michael's it's the recollections brand and i either use this 65 pound um cardstock or i'll even use the 110. the real important number though when you're buying your cardstock is the grams so you want something that's like 176 or higher so that you have a thick enough paper. If that number's too low, your paper is gonna just be kind of thick paper as, a, as opposed to cardstock. The printables that I have for these little bunny tags are designed so that you can use a hang tag punch like this, or you can even cut out just with scissors as a rectangle and attach to your project. I'm just gonna use a tiny hole punch and use a bulb safety pin i think they're also called gourd safety pins to attach um, my hang tag and this is how i attach um, hang tag to most of my projects i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and if you make these little washcloths and wrap like bunnies or these little treat bags i hope you enjoy making those as well